in single leg with dynamic lower extremity movement, level five. You are going to start on one foot. Let's pause there. So you're going to start on one foot just like you did all of the first four levels. Stand on one foot. You're going to reach back into that posterior medial direction, keeping the pelvis from anteriorly tilting, so compensating. Perfect um, representation there. Yeah, don't go into that anterior pelvic tilt position. Keep that pelvis stable and also don't corkscrew, right? So you got to keep the pelvis base isometrically stabilized. You got to keep that foot straight. You got to keep the patella tendon in, in line with second and third toe. You got to keep the acetabulum as in line with the patella tendon as you possibly can. You have to keep the pelvis from Trendelenburging. All that, keep the spine aligned and then when you do the motion, the pelvis has to stay while you reach as far as you possibly can. Spend three seconds, one, two, three, then hop to the other side. Everything, regroup, realign, then reach. Once you get to that end range of posterior medial position, then count like a one, two, reach. Yep, come back to it. Reach, one, two, three, hop to the other side. One, two, three, hop to the other side. Get to end range. One, two, three, hop to the other side. The purpose of this level five is really to take all those awesome alignment and biomechanically optimized positions that you've learned with the foot, with the pelvis, with the knee, the spine stabilizing everything and all these motions and all of the levels and now tying that in, which the posterior medial direction is more sport specific, that posterior medial direction, because it's really having to make that support side work in the glute medius especially. So, but what you're doing here is all those other first four levels is a build up to this one, because what's happening is you are stable and in kind of stationary on one leg, right? Now we're going into high velocity. So jumping from one leg to the other, even if you don't do it extremely ballistically, is very high velocity in comparison to staying stationary. So being in alignment in those other levels, now we're going to do the motion, jump, and pause. So the first thing, as soon as you land on that leg, you need to have foot aligned, knee bent at 20 degrees of flexion, Patella aligned with the foot, acetabulum in line with the knee, no Trendelenburgs in the pelvis, no compensations, no compensations in the spine. So that's your first goal. As soon as you get to that other foot, align perfectly. And because of that, you should do this in front of a mirror for like an indefinite time period so that you can have that visual feedback to see that you're doing this correctly. Then once you've got that position perfectly, then go into the motion. Max out for that three seconds without compensation and then hop back and then again, boom, right back into that perfect alignment because now you're mastering this technique, really master this because in level six, we're going to add additional difficulty that if you don't have this mastered, the form's going to go to hell in a handbasket and we don't want that to happen.